After having learned the most important alveolar sounds, it's time to move to another set of sounds, and this time it will be the interdental sounds. As the name suggests, interdental means enter, between, and dental is teeth. You can understand that the mechanism of these sounds means that these sounds come from between the front teeth. The sounds that we're going to be talking about today are th, th, and th. We're going to be starting with the easier one of the three, and that is the th sound. Th is produced by placing the tip of the tongue between the front teeth, like that. The trick is that you should leave a small enough space for air to get out through this opening. Then you're going to be forcing air through this very small opening, like so. And this is the sound. Pay attention not to stick your tongue outwards too much, because that's not the point, and it doesn't really look nice. Here are some examples to show you the th sound in a real word. ثلج ثلج بث بث Now, moving to the th sound. Th is actually the exact same sound with the exact same technique, with one single exception, and that is the vibration of the vocal cords. Th sound is a voiceless sound, which means that you don't vibrate your vocal cords while you're pronouncing it or saying a word that contains the letter. So while saying th, you can't feel any vibration here when you put your fingers on your throat. On the other side, when you pronounce th, you can feel some vibration, and that's what makes th a voiced sound. So th is voiceless, th, and th is the same sound, but it is voiced with vibration at your vocal cords, like so. Th. Here are some examples that contain the letter ذل with the sound ذ. ذيل ذيل انذار انذار Last but not least is the ذ sound. And ذ is very similar to the ذ sound. And that's why a lot of learners mix them up together. The similarity between them is that the tip of the tongue is in, is in the exact same position, and that is between the front teeth. But the back of the tongue, when it comes to the th sound, is raised and is even stretching closer to the back of the mouth. The trick we use to help raising and stretching the back of the tongue so that you can get the th instead of the is by practicing this sound while you're lying on your back. When you are in this position, gravity makes it much easier for your tongue to get raised and pulled backwards to the back of your mouth and you will produce the sound much easier. So train in this position in the beginning until you get the hang of it and then try in an upright position. Here are some minimal pairs to show you the difference between th and th. Fav. فظ فذ فذ نظر نذر نظر نذر ظعن ذعن ظعن ذعن So this is going to be the end of today's lesson everyone. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new today and you liked the video, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Salam.